When you work on documents within Office 365, you have the ability to share these documents with other Office 365 users as well as people who are not using Office 365 because any document that you work on, a link can be generated which you can then post onto a website or you can post it into an email so that others have access to your document. So right now I'm in my Word Online document and I'm going to go back over to OneDrive within Office 365, again, which is where all of my documents are stored. So if we click back over here, this icon over here is going to allow you to jump to all the various tiles you have access to. And I'm going to click on OneDrive. And when we go back over to OneDrive, it's going to show me the documents that I've created. So you can see over here, this is the document that I was just working on, and you can see it time stamps it. It was why I was working on it four minutes ago. And I want to share this with other users. So I'm going to click next to it. You see this little icon over here. And when I click on it, I'm going to get a number of different options in this toolbar. And one of them will say Share. I'm going to click on Share, and you're going to get a pop up. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can share documents with people. The first one, the default, the invite people, assumes that you are going to share it with other users in Office 365 within our school district. So I could type in the username of somebody who I know is in here, and I could share it with myself. And then you're going to notice over here, there's two different options. Do I want to give this user the ability to edit or only to view? What we're going to do is we're going to choose the second option that says get a link. Now there's a couple of different ways again that you can share this document with somebody. So I'm going to click on this drop down. I'm going to show you and explain each of the different options. View link means it's going to generate a link that you can get post onto your website or you can copy and paste it into an email and you can send it to somebody and the view link means they do not have access to make any changes to it so it is not a collaborative document. Over here where it says edit link the edit option is going to share it with the user but it's also going to allow them to make changes to your document so this is where the collaborative piece comes into mind. Notice the difference here between these this view and edit and this view and edit. This one over here, when you provide this link that it's going to generate to another person, it's going to require them to sign in, which means that that person who you gave this link to must have an Office 365 Lindbergh account. If they don't, for instance, if you are a teacher at the high school level or the elementary level where those students do not have Office 365 accounts, you can come down to these two options where it says here, where no sign-in is required. So you can generate a link and again post this link onto your website, to your Moodle page, Edmodo, whatever it is you're using, or through an email. And when this person who receives it clicks on it, they won't have to sign into Office 365. This one over here, the edit link, also will allow anybody who you send this link to to make any changes to your document and it doesn't require a sign-in. So what we're going to do here, just for our purposes, is we're going to click on the view link no sign in required. Because what you're going to be doing for this activity today is after you have created your document, you are going to share the document link with me through Moodle so that I can see it. But I don't need to make any changes to your document. So you're going to choose view link no sign in required. And what that's going to do is it's now going to generate a link. A new option that was made available was this set expiration, which means that you could send this link to a person and you only want them to see it or have access to it for 30 days, one day, etc. And then if they try to click, click the link after that, they wouldn't be able to access it. We're just going to leave that alone for now. So here is the link that it generated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it all and then I'm going to right click on it and copy it. You do have to make sure it's highlighted. And then I'm going to close. So now what I'm going to do is because I have the link generated, I need to post this in our Moodle course so that others can see it. So I'm going to come back over here to Moodle and you're going to see over here for week one, it says post your document link here. So when I click on this, 
I'm going to come down. Yours will be blank, but you're going to come down and you're going to hit reply. And then where it says message, you're going to right click and paste or control V is the keyboard shortcut and you're going to paste your document link. I would also suggest maybe putting the title of your document in here. So we'll just put in holiday break. And then once we're done, I can hit post to form and the link will be posted. So it's pretty much as simple as that. Just generating a link next to the document that you want to share with somebody by simply again, clicking on the little check mark next to the document, clicking on share, choosing get a link and deciding what type of link you want to generate an editable one, a non editable one. And are you going to require the person to sign it through Office 365 or not?